Hey everybody, welcome to episode 28 of Crack TV, where any semblance of wit is accidental, imagined, or medication related. Mmm, it's like thick purple jokes. With me as always is my life partner, clips of the boyfriend body pillow ad. This boyfriend arm pillow is a soft and cozy body pillow that resembles a torso of a man with a comforting arm that cradles and holds you throughout the night. According to the contraindications on this bottle, today's topic is... What? No operating heavy machinery, but I am heavy machinery. Oh well, in for a penny. <laughs> aborting a marriage is like aborting a child. You want to get in there early, mainly so that the fetus isn't yet strong enough to fight back. A good, terrible proposal can kill your marriage before it's even sprouted ear nubs. This handy image neatly sums up all of the many reasons Lisa McBrayer should change her name, move far away, and cut up her face. You could also make a big showy gesture, like typing out a hundred character tweet and not bothering to hold the shift key on your eyes. Just for perspective's sake, this is what that proposal actually looked like. The groom's not allowed to see the bride's dress until the wedding day, so it's a great way to make a bold, lasting statement. Statements like, I am the enemy of empire, and this is my wife, burned doll. Or, the condom broke. Or, we're gonna need a bigger condom. Or, we're just hanging out. Or, ho, ho, ho. And if you really want to doom the nuptials, try showing your fiance exactly how little you're willing to spend impressing him, or how little you value yourself. No, wait, actually, he might like that. So, the opposite, I guess? Ha! Good luck taking that shit off on wedding night, asshole. They should have sent more men. Oh, I guess they did. <laughs> Ruining the cake's a little trickier because, let's face it, it's cake. Short of poisoning it, there's not a lot you can do to make it unhappy. You filthy whores! Is that fruit, beans, and fish? That cake is so awful, I'd like to hijack a plane, crash it into the cake, then make a cake commemorating that. The point is, fuck fruit, all right? You don't have to disgrace cake just to ruin your wedding. A pod of dead dolphins humping their way up a pyramid of dirt. Terrible, but still edible. Or make sure that of all the things in your wedding, only the one your husband stabs repeatedly is shaped like you. A wedding is a time to celebrate exciting new beginnings, like your inevitable death. Listen, goth kids, you're not allowed to wallow in the black despair of loneliness and find true love. You're either depressed and nonconformist or happy sheeple. Like these happy Japana sheeple who pissed off everyone they know by making their maid of honor and best man paid midgets in Hello Kitty costumes. I smell an awkward reception speech. Fumio and I have been best friends ever since I pulled him from that freezing lake. So, yeah, from then, right up until he Replace me with a fucking mute cat. Kenichi out. Of course, if you're more the progressive type, there's still many wonderful themes to choose from. Like that one about the bloody galaxy-spanning civil war that left billions of innocents dead. Or that one Star Trek episode. Remember where this happened? I think it was a Q episode. It'd kinda have to be. Frickin' nerds, man, am I right? I would like to give my vows in the name of my D&D character. Ah! Whatever the theme of your wedding, make sure to adjust the priest's speech accordingly. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the kingdom of Kilrog to unite this night elf and this sweaty virgin in the guild bonds of virtual matrimony. If anyone present knows a reason why these two ugly monsters should not be made G and bitch, please freestyle rap your objection now or forever hold you. Wait, where'd they go? Where the hell'd they go? How am I supposed to marry an invis- Oh, there they are. By the power vested in me by these acid wash Levi 501 loose fits, I now pronounce you man child and retired Renfair wench. You may kiss your substitute mom. In Bozo's name we pray. So let's recap. You proposed like a tool, strapped on some sweet wedding kicks, your cake is an old boot with a sculpture of you being a bitch on top, and you're being married in Klingon in a parking garage dressed like traffic cones. What else could you possibly do to encourage your mate to not take the plunge? How about gnaw their finger off? What? 
No, but I get it. Rings are really expensive these days. Self-amputation? Arguably less so, unless you're a professional bowler. And what better way to celebrate your love than by getting liquored up and sticking parts of each other in your mouths? It's like your first date all over again. The phrase, I want you in me, has never been more appropriate or less arousing. Really? Huh. I guess I stand corrected. Or should I say, erected. Cannibalism boner. Good band name, by the way. Well, that about does it for this episode. Hey, Clippy, maybe you and I should finally tie the knot, huh? This novelty pillow makes a great original gift for a friend or relative friend? with a good sense of humor a relative that would love a good to have sense a little more cuddling at night. Okay, I get it. This was all just a game to you, wasn't it? Some kind of game. I've been your host, Droid Michael Swaim. Allow me to play you out. Until her womb starts spilling out, baby Only then did I reckon my curse All right, all right, all right. Let me sleep. Let me sleep forever. <laughs>